What if I told you your AI agent could read and summarize any website just like a human but 100 times faster? We know that large language models are insanely powerful but they don't natively know how to browse the web or fetch real-time content. In this video, I'll show you how to supercharge your AI agent with a MCP server that lets your model to fetch live web pages, convert HTML files into markdown and a natural language content the user can read. By the end of this video, you will have a Python powered agent that can auto summarize blogs, articles or documentation just by giving a simple URL. So let's get started. And if you are interested in this generative AI topics, so please consider subscribing to my channel and we can just get started with our code right away. So for this programming, I'm going to use PyCharm. And the first step here is installing the required libraries. So here I have a requirements.txt file where I've mentioned all the libraries which we are going to need. And Pydantic AI will be the agentic framework that we will use in order to build this agent. And we will also install the MCP integration with this Pydantic AI, which kind of lets us use the MCP server that's going to help us fetch this data from the URL, from the blocks that we are going to post. And then we are using Grox LLM, but this you can replace with OpenAI uh, LLMs or Olama LLMs if you want to keep this locally. And then we have this MP MCP server server fetch which is the MCP server to fetch the data is what we are going to use here. So the first step is installing this libraries. So once I have this virtual environment and everything ready, I'm going to install this requirements.txt by saying pip install iPhone r requirements.txt which is going to install all the libraries. As you can see, I've already installed these libraries. So we can just like get started with the code right away. So here yeah, I'll create a new file called as main.py file, which would be our actual script to perform this action. So first thing I'm going to import OS to save my API key, grok API key in the environment variable. And then let's import async IO. This is used in order to run asynchronous operations and uh, the agent is going to run in an asynchronous way in the background, right? So we need this for that. And then from Pydantic AI, import a agent so pydantic a is implementation of this uh, you know agent code makes it really simple in order to build like agents in python so we can just like use that so from pydantic a import agent and then from pydantic a dot mcp which is a modern context protocol we are going to import mcp server stdio so this uh, standard input output basically it uses like the standard way of how your input and output get stream and we also have other methods of like mcp server and M uh, mcp server http say for example this mcp server http sends this messages like in, in an http request and uh, you know responses but we are going to use the standard io so we can say that from pyrantic a dot mcp import mcp server std io so the next part is defining our mcp server so here i'll add a comment saying that define the mcp server so here i'll call this server as mcp server fetch or we can call this as uh, you know yeah we can call this mcp fetch server so this is like a pre-made server that we have so here i can put this mcp server stdio that we have created and within that i'm going to add two parameters one is command to start this which is python and the other one is you have to give the arguments for this command. So the arguments would be iPhone M comma MCP underscore server underscore fetch. Okay, so this is the command. So when you run this command uh, in your terminal also this will like start the server so you can just like open your terminal so we have already installed this mcp server fetch so in order for this to run you should have installed this mcp server fetch library so once you have done that even you can run it in the terminal to start that server and even you can use mcp inspector to kind of like understand uh, you know all the you know, tools it has prompts it has and so on okay so the first step is installing these libraries which also includes this mcp server fetch and then we are going to start it from here so you can go to google and search for mcp server fetch and here you will see this uh, see this github uh, page fetch mcp server so this has like all the details on like how to start this mcp uh, fetch server how to install it and so on so there are like several ways to do this so you can use this uv uv is like another uh, dependency managing tool 
so rather we can also use pip install which is like the simplest way that we have done so first you can install this pip install mcp server fetch which we did in this requirements.txt and then you can start it by saying python iphone m mcp server fetch so this is the exact command that we have given here so we have said command is this and arguments are uh, iphone m and mcp server fetch which is basically given here so this would kind of start this uh, fetch server that will later be connected to the llm that we are going to use and then it will perform this task of like going through a website and summarizing this okay so the next part is configure grok api key okay so as i said this is configurable with any llm of your choice so for us we are going to use grok so that it can give us like faster responses so i'll open my chrome i can search for grok api key so you need to sign up in grok you can sign up with google or other accounts and then you can go to this api key section console.grog.com slash keys and you can create a new api key so i'll call this as fetch api key and submit this so this is going to generate a api key for me and i'm going to paste it over here so this is not a secure way but just to keep this tutorial simple i'm going to paste it in my code saying that os environ and within this we can say grog underscore api underscore key and then we can paste our key over here so the most standard way would be to put this in a dot env file and then later load it automatically to the environment variables but here we can just like manually do this as just to you know keep things simple so when we call the grok llm it's going to look for the api key in this particular uh, variable environment variable so that's why we are naming it this as grok api key and next part is creating the agent so i'll say create the ai agent and let's call this as agent is equal to agent which the agent class that we have imported and within that i'm going to say model is grok so first you need to provide the provider details so in this case the provider is grok if you're using open ai or olama you would replace this and we have like different models that's available in grok so if you go to grok and search for models that would give you the list of models that it has so you have this production model section and let's say i want to use the 70 billion verse trade model the open source llama 3.3 model so i can just like copy this name and put it over here so don't forget to add this grok colon so after this grok colon i can say llama 3.3 70 billion versatile and i can say mcp underscore servers is equal to i can create a list and say that this is the server you you have like access to so in this case the server is mcp fetch uh, server okay so it's it's not the one that we have over here but the name that we have created okay so mcp fetch server don't use this particular thing so this is the library that we have so you need you need to use this mcp fetch server variable that we have created so mcp fetch server so that is that is like pretty much it so as i said this is like a very simple approach of how you can connect to this particular server and if you are like working on building a custom tool then that's going to be a bit difficult as we have to write this custom code to connect to some api to scrape through uh, the websites and so on but this becomes very simple because we have like all the tools and functionalities that's been provided by this mcp server fetch and all we have to do is just connect it to the llm so that's what we are doing here so we are creating an ai agent which would kind of act as like the mcp client and then it would connect to this mcp server through the model context protocol and it can like perform all the tasks and it can use all the tools that this particular server has and then we can create a main async function as this agent run depends on like a asynchronous operation so I'll call this as main async function. Let's say async. So we are going to write a function that's going to run asynchronously. Let's call this as main, put a colon, and then I'm going to say another async with agent dot run MCP servers. So this is like a, a function that we have within this agent dot run mcp servers so this is going to run all the servers that we have given like access to so in this case we have given access to only the mcp fetch servers so when you run this code it's going to activate this server mcp fetch server which is basically the mcp server fetch that we have seen in this uh, you know github thing okay and if you want you can just like go through this so you fetch mcp server it what it does is a model context protocol server that provides web content fetch capabilities the server server enables llms to retrieve and process content from web pages converting html to markdown for easier consumption so you can just like give the url and it would be able to extract the contents and convert it into like markdown and you can just like process the data so that's what this server mcp you know uh, server fetch is going to do so we are starting that particular server put 
open and close parenthesis, put a colon and say result is equal to away. So as this is an asynchronous operation, so we are also kind of telling the system uh, the process to wait when the agent runs and say agent dot run within this you, you can give any uh, you know blocks so I'll say we can exert some site maybe I'll search something like what is a transformer model okay so let's say we have this block from NVIDIA which explains like what is a transformer model on which like all these LLMs are based on. So all I can do is just go to this and, and copy the URL of the site and paste it over here. If you want to do this for a different page, you can do this. And maybe you can just like add another prompt before this saying that uh, extract the content and summarize this. You, can, you don't have to do this, but you can also like put a prompt if you want to. Okay, so extract the content and summarize it and we are providing this URL. So if you want to do this for a different website, different page, all you have to do is just like replace this URL and this agent would take care of that. And then I'm going to say output, the final answer is equal to, so this is saved in result.output and then we can finally return it. So I'll say return output. Now we can run our main function. So run the main function so I'm going to say if name is equal to main so this is just like saying that run this only when this script runs directly so it's for that purpose I'll say output is equal to main okay it should be async IO. we should run this function in a asynchronous way so we have this async IO that we have imported from this place async IO and within that we have to say dot run main so we have this main function so we have to run this main function as all this is a asynchronous process you have to run this within this async io dot run if you run this main without this async io it tries to run synchronously but it wouldn't match with the asynchronous function that we have created here so the right way would be to run it with async io dot run and then finally you can print your output Let's run this. So this is all. This is basically all the code that we have to do. So what we are doing here is uh, connecting to a MCP server fetch. So this is going to act as the server that's going to provide the tools for the LLM, which is going to help it to fetch the data from the internet from a particular website that we have given here, and then like summarize it and, and process that information. And here we have configured Grok so that it can use this Grok API key and say, say that Grok's Llama 3.370 billion versatile is the LLM agent that's going to power this sorry it's the LLM that's going to power this agent and finally we have a main function that's going to call this agent dot run and then basically extract the content and summarize it from this particular blog and finally return the output so that is the entire step and finally we can just like print it over here by running this main function so I'll run this and we will see the output over here so it's just a warning to install node.js but that's okay you can just like ignore this and finally we would see this output of the article from NVIDIA discusses the concept of transformer models a type of neural network and so on so it just goes through like the entire content of the site like the site and the blog and so on and tries to summarize like the key information from it so this is how you can build this uh, you know agent which is a web smart agent that can go through any site that you provide and summarize that for you so i hope this is uh, useful to you just practice this and, and with this particular knowledge right we can also build custom agents so this is a kind of agent sorry the server that that they have made right so instead we can also build our own custom service and connect it to the agents and see like how we can work with that so that is all from my side for this video and i'll see you in the next upload thanks for watching